All right, all right, all right. Greg Poland here with another Tesla update. We got version 2020.40.3, as you can see right here. Uh, so let's see what this includes. Let's go to the release notes, and we have three new features, speed assist improvements, priority Bluetooth device, and glove box pin. All right, so uh, speed assist improvement, what is that? Oh, well, wait a minute. We already had that on a previous update, speed assist improvement. Uh, this one, what's the difference here? Oh, in addition to local roads, speed assist now leverages the car's cameras to detect speed limit signs to improve the accuracy speed limit data for highways. Oh, okay. So previously it just did it for local roads. Now it's doing it for highways as well. Huh. I just kind of assumed it did before, but I guess I didn't read into it on the last update as, as deep as I should have. But anyway, so now this is good. All right, so now it's doing local roads and highways. So I guess it's doing all roads now. <laughs> all right, uh, the next one is priority Bluetooth device. To avoid connecting to the wrong nearby phone, you can now set your priority Bluetooth device. Your car will attempt to connect to the priority device associated with the profile selected before it attempts to connect to other paired phones. Oh, look at there. See, uh, I had to turn off the profile connection to my wife's phone. You can see that. Uh, let me go here to locks. And in here, you can see my phone is connected to me. My wife's phone is now connected to her because I went ahead and set that. Uh, because of this new update see I used to I had to turn that off because the both of us would get into the car together and all of a sudden the seat would push me up it would switch over to her profile and the seat would push me up to the steering wheel I'm like going ah. so I had to turn that off you know that's easy enough to do I believe the uh, the car's got to be uh, or the phone's got to be here in order to adjust that but uh, but yeah so that that is a good thing Right now back to this screen, uh, it says we need to tap the Bluetooth icon at the top of the touch screen and select the preferred phone. So let's look at that. So I'll go up here and I'll tap the Bluetooth icon and the Bluetooth dialog comes up. And sure enough, we got this new option right here, priority device. Car will attempt to connect to priority device before others. All right, good deal. So let's go ahead and turn that on. All right, now that's on. Oh, look at there. There's a little gold star now next to the Bluetooth icon that is now lit up. My wife's phone is grayed out. Now we got uh, both phones here right now. So uh, let's do a little a little testing here and, and see what happens. Uh, so let's go do this first. Let's uh, go over to my wife's phone right here and manually connect to it. That seems to be trying. There it is. Now it has connected to it. See, I'm still the, uh, my old blue is still considered the priority device, but you can still manually connect to the other phone. So that's good to know. So you can do that, you know, while you're driving or what have you. Uh, and then of course I can connect back to, uh, to my phone. All right. Now with Mindset as the priority device, I'm going to get out of the car and walk away from it. And then I'm going to uh, uh, get into the car. And I'll leave the camera here on the screen so that you can see what action happens when I get away from the car. Uh, the Bluetooth should probably disconnect, but we'll see. All right, I'm now getting into the car. I got both phones in my hand. And it looks like, is it connecting yet? It hasn't connected. Oh, there it is. It connected and it connected to my phone. And I got both of them in hand. See, hers used to always connect first. So now that I can set mine as priority, it's now working as I want it to. Uh, of course, let's see what happens if my phone, I'll put my phone 
outside the car on the roof on the passenger door and then I'll get in the driver door with my wife's phone and let's see what happens. All right, well, it switched over to hers, but look at that. My Bluetooth is still the priority. Interesting. So is all the Bluetooth, the contacts, the sync messages, and all that stuff is still gonna go through my phone, even though she got into the driver's seat with her phone and it switched over to her profile. All right. Well, cool. I think that's a that's a a, a, a very good uh, option right there now for us. All right, let's go back to the uh, menu, and uh, now the glove box pin. Uh, protect the valuables in your glove box with a four-digit pin. Okay, so let's do that one real quick. Let's go to uh, safety. We'll scroll down here to glove box pin. There we go. We'll click on that. Oh, there we go. Let's do a four digit pin. One, two, three, four. And now it's turned on. I hit the glove box button and it's asking for the pin now. One, two, three, four. And you heard it. The glove box popped open. Excellent. All right. Good deal. Let's see. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Requires another pin. One, two, three, four. And now it's turned off. Okay, cool. Well, that, that, that's convenient. I can put a four-digit pin on the glove box and nobody can get into the glove box other than me or who has the four-digit pin. Excellent. All right. Well, there you go. That's the update for uh, this version. Uh, look, look for my next video that I'll put out where I'll do that Villa Maria challenge and see how well the autopilot has uh, improved with this new update. So uh, look out for that update and... We'll talk to you later. If you like my videos, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. Also, if you want to support me in making these videos, you can go to my Patreon site and provide a small donation to my stupid little channel. Any one of these will help to grow my channel. So give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.